Hey, welcome to today's class. Today it's going to be an hour long, <laughs> kind of slow paced flow. I'm holding the asanas for longer than we would normally do. So as usual, if you can have your props nearby, so a yoga strap, a dressing gown belt, a scarf, anything will do, and yoga blocks or thick books to help you as you hold the poses. Enjoy. We're going to start off sitting down today. So I'm going to use my yoga block and actually sit on the block because that lengthening in the spine can make a difference. And if you've got two blocks, you can just put them side by side. So it's a nice, a wider seat for you if you've not got your blocks and you want to get a cushion or something to sit on to raise you up. That's also going to feel quite nice. Whether you're sitting comfortably on your on your blocks, cushions, whatever. Just find that nice, sweet spot. So I want you to kind of push down into your sits bones. So clench your butt cheeks a bit, lengthen into the spine. Inhale, shoulders up, back and down. Inhaling up and back, exhale down and forwards. Really squeeze the shoulders, really articulate them. Nice, big, slow circles and pause when you're down and then rolling back, up, forwards and down. Moving the shoulders, but the shoulders are the only things moving. You're not going to move your head. It's isolating those muscles. And maybe one more and then coming to your still pose. And again, push down into your sits bones, draw Uddiyana Bandha up and in. Shoulders down and away from ears. Close your eyes for just a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth. Release the shoulders down. In, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. Four, and exhale through the mouth, ujjayi breath, relax those shoulders. Deep inhale. Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, releasing out, releasing the shoulders. Beautiful. Opening your eyes, bring your hands to your belly. Thumbs are joined, index fingers joined around your belly button. Beautiful. Reset the shoulders, drawing them down. On the inhale, I want you to fill your lungs and then draw the breath down into your belly. So deep inhale. Maybe feeling the hands lift as you exhale. Hands are going to sink back. Chest releases, shoulders down. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. On your next inhale, we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Inhale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and release, relax those shoulders. Release your hands back onto your knees and just start to draw small circles over the hips. Releasing the lower back. Nice, big, slow circles. And pausing when your neck's back and change direction. Rotating the other way. Lovely. And pausing when you're back at centre. Hands to heart centre. Draw the thumbs down, elbows nice and wide. Get the length into your spine. Pull Uddiyana Bandha up and in. And slowly rotate from the waist going one way. Head can keep turning to look behind you. And release to centre. To the other side. Head can keep turning. And back to centre. Pull Uddiyana Bandha up and in as you start to push the hands 
Really press the palms firmly together as arms start to lift. Reaching up and then pull the shoulders down. Reach up, pull the shoulders away. Keep the length in the arms as you fold, looking under one arm. And back to center and the other way. And back to center. Turn palms outward, spread fingers really wide. Like you're pushing that heavy weight, bringing the arms behind you. Interlace fingers, reach your arms along, squeeze the shoulder blades together. On your next inhale, look up, release your hands down, looking up to the ceiling, pausing here, squeeze the shoulder blades together a little bit more. Extend your arms a little bit more. Now pull your belly button up and in as you slowly start to hinge forwards, not coming very far yet. Just warming up, hands coming up overhead. And then release yourself back down. Release the hands to shoulder height. Spread the fingers wide. Shoulders up, back and down. Belly button up and in. And slowly turn from the waist. One way, head can keep going. And releasing back to centre. And over the other shoulder and back to center. Rotate palms upwards, reach arms long, spread fingers wide, shoulders stay down as your arms come up, actively pulling the shoulders down, interlace fingers, push the palms away. Pull belly up and in as you start to C-shape your back, chin to chest. Inhale, lifting, reach the palms up, pull shoulders down. And exhale, slowly push the palms away, chin to chest. Inhaling up, release the hands back to shoulder height. Rotate them so palms are facing up. Pull the shoulders down as your arms lift, staying shoulder width. Holding one way and pause here. Breathing here, can you reach the top arm a little bit further? And coming to center, to the other side, pausing here. Reach that top arm a little bit more. And release to center. Turn palms outwards. Fingers spread really wide. Shoulders coming down, fingertips to the mat. Reaching long in the spine, shoulders are down. Keep your fingers where they are and just see if you can lean forwards a little bit without your fingers releasing. Don't let the fingers slide. See how far you can come. And looking down to the floor. And inhaling back up. Release. Bring the right arm forwards, left arm underneath it. Draw the right arm across and look over that right shoulder. Breathing here. Actively pull the shoulders down away from the ears. And release arms out wide. Left arm forwards, right arm underneath. Draw the arm across. Look over the shoulder. And releasing the arms back to the knees. Reset your spine. Shoulders down and away from ears. Pull the belly button up and in as you start to hinge forwards. This time maybe coming a little bit further. Looking down to the floor. Inhale yourself up. Bring your hands behind you, fingers facing forwards. Just lean back first of all. Push your chest up to the ceiling. And you can stay here or you can lift your hips coming to your knees. Let your head drop behind you, pushing hard into hands and knees. Breathing here for five more, for four more for three more, for two more, for one more, and release yourself down. Pop the blocks, cushions to the side, and rolling over onto hands and knees, setting yourself up in your tabletop pose. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Drop the belly, lift tailbone, then pushing into hands and knees, arching up to your cat. Inhale, release belly, 
and exhale, arching up really high. Inhale and exhale. We're going to pause here, push into the hands, push into the knees, chin tightly tucked to chest. Keep pushing, see if you can find a little bit of extra space in your spine. Breathing here. And then super slowly, with control, start to release your hips to your heels. Lower the forearms, lower the forehead. Take a moment in child pose. Releasing here. Keep trying to draw your bottom down closer to the hips. Relax the shoulders. And on your next inhale, coming back up to your tabletop. Stretch the right leg behind you, push the heel away. Squeeze the kneecap, reach left arm long. Engaging your core, lifting up, kick the heel away, reach the arm. And we're going to stay here for 10. Nine. Three, two, one, bend the knee, reach behind you, take the foot. Lifting up, lift that knee, kick hand into foot, pull the foot up and holding this for 10. Three, two, one, and release. Coming to the other side, left leg and right arm, engage core as you lift. Neck is long, looking straight down to the mat. Push the heel away, reach the arm. Staying here again for another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Bend the knee, reach behind you, take the foot. Inhale, lifting up. But neck is long, looking down to the mat for another 10. And release. Bring your knees mat width, big toes touch. Keep hands where they are. Hips down, now slide your hands away. Reach them as long as they will go. Lower forehead to the mat. Palms are flat, elbows are lifted. And just keep trying to get the fingers to go a little further away. Extend the arms. You should feel this along your arms, into the shoulders, maybe into your armpits. Breathing here, sinking down. And then lifting the head, looking forward. Make sure hands are shoulder width as we tuck toes and lift up to our first down dog. And I want you to pedal your legs. Push one heel to the mat, deep bend on the other knee. And swap sides, moving slowly from one side to the other, really stretching out. Keep working on pushing your chest closer to the thighs. Stretching out the back, the hamstrings, your calves. It's such a good pose to give everything a really, really good stretch. When your leg is straight and heel to the mat, squeeze the kneecap of that leg. Moving slowly, mindfully. And then coming to your still down dog. Push, look at your hands, push into your hands, get chest closer to thighs. Come up on tippy toes and shift weight forwards to plank to check if you're in your perfect down dog. So I'm not, so I've got to move my feet back a little bit so I can get into that perfect plank. In your plank, we'll rotate elbow creases forward. Pausing here. In theory, we should be able to hold this for uh, ages, <laughs> five minutes. Keep walking the toes in, push the heels away. Get those elbow creases forward, press harder into the hands. Neck is long, looking straight down to the floor. Now, don't move hands or feet, but pull Uriana Banda up and in as you lift the hips. And exhale, release the heels to the mat. Inhaling to tippy toes, shift weight forward to plank. You shouldn't need to move hands or feet. And we're going to stay here for 20 seconds. So breathing here, push into the hands. Shoulders are strong. 
pull belly button up and in. Nice. Really good. Got about another five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and coming back up to our down dog, which will now feel like a rest pose. Pausing here. Give your head a little nod, a little shake. Lift those hips, chest to thighs. And then soften in the knees. Walk your hands back towards your feet at the back of the mat. Bend your knees so much that you can bring your belly and chest onto your thighs. One hand on one inner elbow, the other hand hooking over the other elbow. And just dangle here. Maybe swaying from the hips. Rotating a little bit. Letting the arms just support each other. And then pausing in your still pose, let your hands just flop down to the mat. Tuck chin firmly to chest. Pushing into the feet, we're going to roll up really slowly. Arms dangling really slowly, super, super slowly. Legs are going to start to straighten. Spine starts to straighten. Head starts to lift, arms reach out. Pull belly button up and in as the hands reach up. Once hands meet, pull the shoulders down. Keep pulling belly button up and in as hands come to heart center. Mountain pose, shoulders up, back and down. A couple of nice deep rotations of the shoulders and then releasing hands to the side. Check your feet, big toes together, heels roughly a clenched fist width apart. Draw the kneecaps up, slide the flesh on your thighs up towards you. From your lower back, our little pelvic tilt, protecting your lower back. Inhaling, arms out and up, looking up. Turn the palms and as you exhale, you're gonna slowly, slowly swan dive. Hands either side of your feet. Bend the knees to get your hands flat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forwards. Walk the hands forward. One, two, three, four, to your plank. And we're going to pause here for 30 seconds. Push the heels away. Staying here for about another 27 seconds or so. Draw belly button up and in. Push into your hands. Strong arms, strong legs. Really actively push the heels away. Breathing here. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, perhaps. Pausing here for about another eight seconds. Another four, three, two, one. Drop the knees, flatten the feet. Shift weight forwards. Biceps by your rib cage as you lower chest and chin sliding to your baby cobra and pause here. Push yourself a little higher with the hands and then lift your hands off the mat. Can you support the back bend here? And then hands either side, tuck toes via the knees. Downwards facing dog for another little pedal of the legs. And then pausing here. Look forward, your gaze, your drishti between your hands. Soften the knees and step or walk forwards to the top of your mat in a deep fold. Can you get your legs a little bit straighter? Can you nod your head, shake your head, releasing your neck? On your next inhale, push into feet, reversing that swan dive, arms reaching out. Pull belly button up and in as the arms lift. And hands to heart center. Beautiful. Slowly reaching the arms out and up on the inhale. As you slowly exhale, swan dive to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and pause here. Draw the shoulders away from ears. Get length into the neck. Draw belly button up and in. Push down into the feet. And on your next exhale, folding deeply forwards, keeping your knees as straight as you can. Lovely. Lift the right foot back, step it back. Right hand under right shoulder as we come to a twist. And we're going to stay here for 10 seconds, reaching up, looking up. 
Finding your balance, breathing here. Really lovely. Hand, left hand outside, left foot. Step back to your plank. Walk the toes in, push the heels away. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Elbow creases forward. Engage your kneecaps. Pull belly button up and in. Nice. Got another 20 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Keep lengthening the spine and the neck. Nice. Another 10 seconds to go. Keep pulling belly button up and in. Really lovely, everybody. Stay strong. Stay strong. Just a few more seconds, I promise. And then lower the knees, chest and chin. Slide to your baby cobra. Push to the knees, tuck toes, and back to our downward facing dog. Left foot stays down, right leg lifts up high, three-legged dog. Push into the hands, get chest closer to thighs. Draw right hip forwards, left hip back a little bit. Level up your hips here. Lift that right leg up a little bit higher behind you. Lower the left heel. Looking forward, sweep, step, or move the foot between your hands. Right arm lifts for our twist. And again, stay here for 10. And right hand outside, right foot. As you step forward, big toes touch, heels apart to your deep, deep fold. Pull belly up and in as you reverse your swan dive. Pull shoulders down as the arms lift and come back to heart center. Pausing for a moment here, close your eyes, lift your toes, spread them wide, place them down. Rock forwards a little bit more to the ball of your feet. Rock backwards more to the heels. And then out to one side a tiny bit, to the other side. So rocking a sort of circle over your feet. It's a very small circle. And it might feel a bit strange with your eyes closed, but it's really good for our balance to do this sometimes. And then pause, change direction. We're sort of leading with the hips. Really small circles. And then coming to your still pose, release your arms to the side. Inhale, arms out and up to a back bend. And exhale, swan diving gracefully, hands either side of feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back, lower the heel, flatten the foot. Coming first to fingertips, and then hands on the knee. Sink the hips forwards into a really nice deep lunge. Really stretch out the front of the left hip. Beautiful. And then hands either side of right foot, tuck toes, and we're back in our plank. And again, 30 seconds here. So walk toes in, push the heels away. Elbow creases forward, fingers spread wide. Neck is long. Breathing here. Nice. About another 10 seconds left. And then either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga as you lower. Inhaling cobra or up dog. Pausing here, whichever option you're taking, look over one shoulder and over the other shoulder. Rolling via the knees or over the toes to downward facing dog. Push your chest to your thighs, lift those hips. Breathing here. On your next inhale, left leg lifts up super high. Flex that foot. Draw right hip back, left hip forwards. Push chest to thighs. Lower the right heel a little bit. Breathing here. And then lifting head, looking forward. Sweep, step, or move the left hand between your hands. Lower the right knee. Flatten the right foot. Stage one, fingertips to the mat, sinking deep. Stage two, hand to knees, and then sink really far forward. And that really lovely stretch down the right hip, thigh. And breathe here, relax the shoulders here. 
and then hands either side, tuck toes, and we're in our forward fold at the top of the mat. Bring the arms out to the side, bring them up behind you, interlace fingers, squeeze shoulders together, and let your arms just sink over your head. Give your head a little nod, perhaps, a little shake. Can you reach those arms straighter? Can you bring them a little bit further overhead? Breathing here. And then pushing into your feet, use your arms as a lever to slowly roll up, chin tuck to chest. Slowly straightening, the arms are lifting you and then as head lifts, a little backward bend. Release the arms to the side, coming to a neutral pose. Inhaling arms out and up. And exhale, swan dive to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, pause here. Pull shoulders away from ears, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right foot back, the left foot back to your plank. Lower the knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling to your up dog or cobra. And exhale. Downward facing dog and pedal the dog again. Stretching out the legs one at a time. Look at your hands, are they shoulder width? Are fingers spread wide? And then push chest towards your thighs, lift the hips. Still dog, trying to get the heels as low as they will go. On your next inhale, right leg lifts up high, three-legged dog. Look at your hands, push chest towards the standing leg thigh. Release that heel a tiny bit. And then lifting your head, your gaze, your drishti between your hands. Step or move the foot between your hands. Pivot the left heel down and lifting up to our warrior two. Drawing the hips and shoulders open. Aligning over the hips. Front foot, toes facing forward. Back foot, heel angled out, toes coming in a little bit and draw your torso over your legs as you release your arms long. Stretch them as far as they will go and then start to bend and straighten that front knee a couple of times. Adjusting your stride length maybe to then come down to your deep, deep 90 degree bend on the front knee. Check that front knee, can you see the big toe? Then reach the arms, the gaze is at the middle finger sinking a little deeper perhaps. Push the back edge of your left leg into the mat. Make sure you're firmly pressing down with both feet. Maybe sinking a little deeper and relax the tops of the shoulders. Staying here, spread the fingers wider. And then flip that front palm. Do not change your knees. Just keep that lovely bend in the front knee as you reverse your warrior. Reach that arm a little longer. Sink back a little deeper, looking up underneath the arm maybe, holding here. Engage your bandha to bring your arms back to your warrior two. Right forearm to thigh, left arm reaching up in your side angle. You can stay here. You can bring the left uh, bicep to the ear and stay here. You can slide your hand down to the floor and stay here. Or bring left arm behind you, right arm underneath you and take a bind. If you're binding, draw that left shoulder open, look up at the ceiling. Staying here for another five, four, three, two, one. Bring right hand to the mat, left arm up and bring yourself back up to your warrior two. Beautiful. Turn the right foot in left foot out facing the other way warrior two on the other side and again bending straightening lengthening your stride perhaps till you can come to your beautiful warrior twos check the back foot heel is angled further back than the toes check you can see the big toe on your front foot reach arms long spread fingers wide as we sink down can you straighten that right leg a little bit Squeeze, nice Valerie, I saw that knee move. <laughs> Squeeze that right kneecap as you sink down. 
breathing here. Can you lower your center of gravity a tiny bit more? And flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Reach that arm up, bicep by the ear. Can you stretch a little bit further back? Don't change the bend of the front knee. Breathing here. And then coming back to your warrior two. Left forearm to thigh, right arm lifts. Option number one. Option two, bicep to ear. Option three, left hand to the mat or a block. Or option four, reaching behind you, taking a bind. If you're binding, draw that right shoulder back, looking up to the ceiling. I'm going to stay here for another five, four, three, two, one, releasing both hands either side of left foot and step back to your plank. Lower the knees, flatten the feet, hips to heels and arms behind you, fingertips down by the toes as forehead comes to the mat. And take a little break here. Maybe slowing down your breathing. Maybe patting the backs of your hands on the mat if your wrists are feeling it, doing whatever you need to to ease any tension. And then on your next inhale, lift your head. Slide your hands along away from you, spread your fingers wide, hands shoulder width. As you tuck your toes, coming to a downward facing dog. Beautiful. Right foot stays down, left leg lifts up high. Draw left hip forwards, right hip back as you push chest towards the thighs. And then looking forward, step or move the foot between your hands and coming up for our warrior one. So train tracks. So feet need to be on train tracks apart so you can bring the hips forward. So really bring the hips and shoulders forward, feet as wide as you need them. And then maybe lengthen your stride a little bit. And then bending and straightening that front knee, finding your sweet spot for your warrior one. Sinking nice and deep, have a look behind you. Is your heel further back than your toes? Can you push the outer edge of your foot back foot into the mat a bit? Can you sink a little deeper? Keep hips and shoulders forwards as arms release. Coming up, shoulder width apart. Pull the shoulders down and away from the ears. Sink a little deeper, maybe lengthening your stride a tiny bit more. Shoulders down and gaze is up between your hands. Like you're holding a giant beach ball or gigantic glass of wine. <laughs> Though it's a bit early for glass of wine. Sinking down, looking up, reaching up for another five, four, three, two, one. And release your hands behind you, interlace fingers, squeeze shoulders together as you look up. Engage your bandha as you slowly start to hinge forward, left shoulder inside left knee, arms coming up and over. Give your head a little nod, a little shake. Breathing here, staying here. Then release your hands either side of your left foot. Fingertips on the mat. You're going to push into the mat so your arms go straight. Then pull the left hip back and see if you can straighten that left leg. Draw that hip back and the right hip forward. Both legs completely straight. And then elbows coming out to the side as you slowly drape belly and chest over the left leg. Can you draw your nose to that knee? Breathing here. Keep trying to straighten the left leg a little bit more. Pull the left hip back a tiny bit more. Can you touch your nose to your knee, your knee to your nose with straight legs? And then pressing into hands, lengthening the arms, bend the knee, hands either side of left foot, stepping back to take your plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. 
cobra or up dog, pausing in cobra or up dog, look over one shoulder, back to centre, over the other, and then rolling over the knees or over the toes, take your down dog, and once more, just pedal the legs out, pausing on each side for a couple of seconds. Really nice deep stretch. And then making sure hands are shoulder width, left foot stays down, right leg lifts up high, three legged dog. Looking forward, step, sweep, or move the foot forwards, coming up, warrior two on the, uh, warrior one on the other side, drawing the hips and shoulders forward, maybe bringing feet a tiny bit wider apart so you can really align yourself beautifully. Shoulders up, back and down. Back foot, the back edge of the left foot firmly into the mat as you slowly start to release the arms, bending the knee, looking up in your warrior one. Shoulders are down, sink those hips a little deeper, breathing here. Keep pulling belly button up and in. And then slowly bringing the arms behind you, interlacing, squeeze the shoulders together. Looking up to the ceiling for a little back bend. And then super slowly with control, hinging forward, right shoulder inside, right knee as arms come up and over. Breathing here. Releasing the hands either side of the right foot. Fingertips pushing into the mat as you start to draw the right hip back. Straightening that right leg as much as you can. Keep working on straightening that leg, pulling that hip back. As elbows go to the side, draw belly, chest and nose over that left thigh. Maybe nose is touching the kneecap, maybe not yet. But one day it will, I promise. Breathing here. And then bending that front knee, hands either side of foot as you step back to your plank. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Drop the knees, shift hips back to heels. Keep the arms long, elbows stay lifted as forehead comes to the mat. Take a breather here, take the weight off your wrists. Relax the tops of the shoulders. And lifting your head, looking forwards. Tuck toes back to our downward facing dog. Push chest to thighs and then soften the knees and start to walk your feet up behind your hands. Toes to get big toes together in a deep, deep fold. Bring your arms out to the side, hands to hips. Push into the feet as you slowly roll up with chin tucked to chest. Super slowly rolling up. And arms lifting out, lifting up. And to heart centre. Beautiful. So we're going to do a couple of standing balances and then we're going to move to our half moon pose. I suggest if you've got your blocks and you use them, just put one at either end of your mat to use as we come into the poses, okay? So, we're gonna start off balancing on the right leg. Ground the foot down, lift the toes, spread them wide, place them down. Choosing your option, heel to ankle, big toe on the mat, foot on the inner calf, nowhere near the knee, or foot at the top of the thigh. Get that standing leg as straight as you can. Focus on something in front of you that's not moving. Draw Uddiyana Banda up and in. Shoulders up, back and down as hands come to heart center. Find your balance. Look at something not moving as you grow the branches of your tree. Shoulders are staying down. Oops, I'm falling out of it. I'm watching you guys. 
breathing here, balancing here. We're going to stay here for about 30 seconds. So focusing on your non-moving thing, focusing on pulling shoulders down, on pulling belly button up and in, straightening that standing leg as much as you can, maybe drawing the knee back a little bit. Beautiful, shoulders strong. Lovely, we've got about another 10 seconds left. And then just bring your hands to heart center. Bring the knee forwards. Extend the leg long, point the toes. For 10, nine, eight, get the leg lifted. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee and starting to come forwards to your warrior three. Either arms to the side at arm center or reaching long in front of you. You choose your option, finding and keeping your balance, which is hard. <laughs> Breathing here, holding here, and then slowly start to fold forwards, bringing hands either side of the feet. Lift that left leg up high behind you as you try and draw your nose towards the knee. Standing splits, beautiful. And then bringing the foot down so your feet are together. Chin to chest as you slowly roll up. Arms reaching out as you get straight, reaching up. And to heart center and release, coming to the other side. So we're gonna stand on the left leg. So lift the toes, spread them wide. Straighten that standing leg, squeeze the kneecap as heel comes to ankle, foot to the side of the calf or up to full pose. And hands come to heart center. Shoulders are going to stay down as you grow those branches. Keep those shoulders down. Keep pulling belly button up and in. Shoulders are strong. Again for 30 seconds. Breathing and balancing. If you want to challenge yourself, you can try closing one eye. And opening. Try closing the other eye and opening, and maybe if you're feeling super strong, both eyes. Got another eight seconds to go. One side's always gonna feel easier and one side harder. Perfect, releasing the arms to heart center, bringing the knee forwards and setting up for your warrior three. Finding your balance here. This is not a pose I enjoy. <laughs> I wobble terribly. And then releasing, whoops, the daisy, <laughs> releasing hands to the mat, lifting right leg, nose to knee, balancing here in your standing splits. And then slowly bring the right foot towards the left. Chin to chest as you slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time. Arms reaching out, reaching up and to heart center. Wonderful. So now we're gonna to come to our half moon pose. So take your block in your left hand. Right hand comes to right hip. We're gonna use our imaginations for this to help with the pose. So, Turn your left foot, so it's facing the front of the mat. Draw right hip and right shoulder open. Shift your weight to the left foot. You can come to the tip of the big toe on your right leg if you like. Reach the block long. And you're going to just slowly start to hinge forwards. Let right leg lifting as left hand comes to rest on the block on the mat. Stay here for a moment, straighten the standing leg. Now imagine there's a, a ball, a tennis ball, a ping pong ball on the floor right underneath your face. You're gonna roll it with your eyes slowly, slowly along the floor. The slower you do this, the easier it is. And it's gonna roll slowly along the floor. You're gonna turn your head slowly. And then once it reaches a certain point, you're gonna make it go up an invisible wall. <laughs> so slowly, slowly, like it's going up the wall in front of your face. 
And then once your head is turned and you're looking straight ahead of you, pause. You can lift that right arm. You can rotate the hips, stacking the hips one on top of the other, shoulders one on top of the other, right leg reaching long, heel pushing away from you. Breathing here. If you fall out of it, just come straight back into it. Breathing here, and we're holding this for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the standing leg and lift up and give that thigh, that hip, a little rub, a little pat if you're feeling it in that hip. And we're just going to set up on the other side. So, same block, a different block, doesn't matter. In the right hand. Right foot, toes pointing away from you. Left hip and left shoulder drawing back. Shift the weight forwards onto the right foot, coming to the very tip of the big toe of the left. Keep shoulders facing forwards. Right arm long, looking towards the block. And slowly, slowly, starting to hinge forwards till the block comes to the mat. Lift your left foot up, flex the heel. Draw left shoulder open as you start to follow that ball along the floor with your eyes, tracking it slowly until you end up with your face facing forwards. And then you can lift the left hand and stack shoulders and hips one over the other in your half moon pose. And we're going to stay here for a while. If you come out of it, just come back in. Keep your Uddiyana Bandha engaged. Keep lifting that left arm up. Breathing here for another 10. Three, two, one, and coming out of it. And again, you might want to give that right hip a little bit of a, a bash, a rub, if you're feeling it here. So to compensate that, we're now going to come to our squat pose and get those hips Nicely stretched out. Hands come to heart center. And this time coming down, I want you to close your eyes. So close your eyes, listen to your body. Just start to gently bend bottom backwards and start to bend the knees out over the feet. Slowly lowering yourself, adjusting your feet as you need to, to come down to your squat. Bring your arms deep inside your knees and shins, calves, and then press them wide. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen the neck. Sink those hips. Breathing here. Staying here for another 10. And then opening your eyes, looking up. Let the right fingers come down. Left arm reaching up to a twist. Looking up, reaching up. Can you draw that left shoulder back a little bit more? And releasing to center. Left fingers to the mat. Right arm lifting up, twisting up, looking up. And release to center. Reset those knees. And then bringing your hands behind you as breaks. Just pop your bottom down and reach those legs long in front of you and give them a nice little waggle, a little bash on the floor, easing out the knees. Now, if you know you can't touch your toes, grab your yoga strap and just bring it around your feet and let it just lie on the floor for now. Otherwise, bring your hands behind you, fingers pushing away from you. Push hands flat and get your spine nice and long. Push yourselves forward a tiny bit, pull belly button up and in. Keep feet flexing in towards you as you release arms out to the side. Reaching up shoulder width apart. Keeping the length in your spine. Start to fold forward. Halfway pause. That gentle little rock from side to side. And then reaching a little bit longer in front of you. Taking hold of the feet or using the strap. Arms are going to be long here. Holding onto the feet or onto the strap. Pull on the strap or your feet length into the spine. And as you exhale, drape belly, chest over thighs, nose coming slowly down towards the knees. Breathing here. A 
lifting the head, slowly walk your hands up your legs, bring yourself upright, hands either side, fingers facing forwards, push into the hands, point your toes forwards as you lift your hips, reversing your plank, squeeze your butt cheeks, we're staying here for 20 seconds, keep squeezing the butt cheeks, if it gets too much, bend your knees, bring your feet to the mat in reverse tabletop, but otherwise trying to keep those hips lifted. Squeeze those butt cheeks. We've got about another five, four, three, two, one, and release the bottom down as arms reach out and up. Pull the feet towards you as you hinge forwards, reaching for the feet, nose to knees, keeping the legs as straight as you can. Keep pulling on the strap or the feet to get length into the spine here. And relax those shoulders. Lifting the head, walk hands back up the feet. Fingers either side, fingers pointing forwards, point the toes or bring feet flat if you prefer a reverse tabletop as you lift up for 30 seconds. So looking straight up to the ceiling, squeeze those butt cheeks, get the hips up nice and high. We've already done 10 seconds. Stay strong, keep pointing the feet, keep squeezing the butt cheeks. Push into the hands, stay strong. We've got another 10 seconds left. Keep strong, keep lifting hips for another five, four, three, two, one. Lower the hips, bend the knees out to the side, reach for the feet, interlace fingers and draw the heels in as we flap our butterfly wings. Really nice. This should feel good now. <laughs> and we're gonna take it down a notch or two as we set up for our final relaxation. Breathing here. Releasing the feet, take hold of the knees, bring them up together. And then slowly lifting feet, hold onto the knees as you balance on your sits bones, getting ready for Navasana. Push the knees together, the feet together. Release one arm and replace. And you can move from one arm to the other or lift both arms, shoulders away from ears. Try and pull the knees in a little bit because we're staying here for 30 seconds. Finding your balance, looking maybe between your hands, drawing the knees in, squeeze your core, stay strong. We're nearly halfway there. Keep reaching the arms straight, shoulders down and away from ears. 10 more seconds to go. Nice, five more, four more, three more, two more. One more and bend the knees out, grab hold of the big toes. You can alternate one leg straight and then the other leg straight and stay with the alternating or straightening both legs, hold the big toes, shoulders down and away from ears, fire up that core as we stay here, or you've guessed another 30 seconds. Breathing here, pulling on the toes, shoulders away from ears. Balancing here, we're almost halfway. Keep pulling belly button up and in. Keep lifting, lengthening the neck, shoulders down. Got another five, four, three, two, one. Bring the feet together, release the hands, bend the knees, keep the feet off the mat, lower forehead to knees. Now a little cosmic egg, relax the tops of the shoulders. And then lifting the head, bringing your feet to the mat, making sure you're about halfway down your mat. If you've got a brick, keep it handy. We're gonna do a very quick bridge or you can use a cushion or your hands. It's completely up to you. C-shape lower back as you slowly, slowly lower yourself down and walk your feet in so you can touch your heels with your hands. If you can't walk your feet in that far, then just wriggle your torso down so you can easily touch your heels. 
Inhale, flat back into the mat. Pushing into your feet, start to lift your bottom. Peeling yourself up onto your shoulders. You can stay here. You can get your br uh, brick maybe on the medium setting under your sacrum and take a supported bridge if that's going to feel nice for you today or go to the highest setting. Or you can bring your hands underneath you, interlace fingers, roll onto the outer edges of your arms, push the arms and hands into the mat and lift the hips, tuck chin to chest. Breathing here. If your hands are in a bind, release them. If you've got the block underneath you, remove it. And then slowly lower your spine, one vertebra at a time. Slowly, slowly allowing the hips to sink. Bring one knee into the chest, the other knee into the chest. And give them a squeeze, a little rock from side to side. And then T-shape your arms, lower the knees to the right, turn head to the left. Enjoying a twist. You, if you want to, you can put your right hand on top of the left thigh to deepen the twist. Releasing the right hand, engage your core, bring the knees to center. And lower them to the left, head turning to the right. Relax the shoulders, close your eyes. You're not going to need them for the next few minutes. Breathing here in the twist, maybe left hand coming on top of left thigh for a stronger twist. Releasing the left hand, bring the knees to center, bring the feet to the mat and choose either Supta Baddha Konasana, feet soles of the feet together, knees wide or knees together, feet mat width or extending legs long. Adjusting your hips, bringing your arms down either side, palms facing upwards, chin to chest and just breathe, relax, Shavasana. And then very slowly, very gently, just start moving your head from one side to the other side. Slowly stretching out the neck. And then moving fingertips, moving toes. Rotate the wrists and the ankles. Slide the legs together. Inhale, arms long overhead, interlace fingers, push the palms away, pull the toes towards you. Engage your Uddiyana Bandha as you push the heels away, push the hands away. And then slowly bringing one knee into the chest for a squeeze, the other knee, give yourself a hug, a little roll from side to side. 
and then rolling onto one side, using hands to press yourselves up to your comfy cross-legged seat pose. Hands to heart center, to the third eye, and namaste, my lovelies. Thank you for joining me.